Now I've obviously not got a lot of time to get out and about exploring on this trip. It's not about that this time. But when I have got a bit of free time, I've been getting out on the push bike and uh, just exploring some of the cycle tracks around my old town. I'm blown away actually, these cycle tracks link up everywhere. On this occasion, the River Calder, which links up with the River Air that runs through town. I've passed these old rail bridges and these old road bridges so many times. Never even thought to get a photograph from way back. But now, perfect opportunity. Just to add a touch of difference, I'm using the Fujifilm X-Pro2 with its 850 nanometer infrared sensor. There's not a lot of sunshine. It's Cass, isn't it? It's Castleford. <laughs> we really don't do sunshine, unfortunately. It's June. It's supposed to be the hottest month. Flaming June. That's what it was always called. Flaming June. Nothing flaming about it, man. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm cold. I am cold. Yeah, and I'm a bit sun-starved at the minute, so every now and then we get a very brief flash of sunlight and that's when I'm whipping the camera out and trying to pop off a shot real quick. So looking at these few photographs, they were very dark, the sun wasn't hitting the actual structure itself and it, the, the photographs came out quite muddy. This one, not so bad actually, we've got the white foliage in there and it, it looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that one. Methley Junction I believe, just look at that. <laughs> they don't build them like that anymore do they? Even though this is run and gun, no tripod, handheld photography, You've still got to make it look right. The foreground grass is there. I'm just making sure that none of those are intersecting the bridge foot. So we're uh, just angling the camera up a little bit or down a little bit just to make sure none of those grass heads are intersecting the bridge walls. And it's just, just little details like that that you need to keep an eye on. Bridge 8, Stevenson's Bridge. I don't know if it's built by Robert Louis Stevenson, who knows? Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to get a great view of it. She's a bit slippy down here. Through the leaves there that are going to turn out really white, a little bit of a glimpse, a bit of a vignette through the trees. It just turned into a mushy, muddy mess. And this is the other side of Stevenson's Bridge. I'm just taking that shot there. My borrowed bike. Nothing spectacular. The added silhouette of the cycle there, I think it just adds a little bit of human element to the photograph. No idea what that place is, but uh, makes a nice photograph. That fence line. Stands out really dark against the white grass. The fence line stood out exactly as I wanted it to stand out. This photograph definitely works for me. I really like the leading line of the, uh, of the pathway there. The foliage is standing out well. The still, whatever it is, that is standing out really well. The moody sky in the background just adds to a quite nice atmospheric photograph. This is Ferris Hill. which looks pretty freaking cool to me. All right, mate, how you doing? I mean, how cool is this? So many badges. And they call Ginny. You know, if I ever move back to England, if ever, no way will I live in a house. I, I, I enjoy my van too much. That's sort of lifestyle. So instead of a van, I'd probably get one of these, a badge. How cool would that be? See that there? That's a shot there, look. The light shit. But uh, we'll make a shot out of that. Badge in the foreground, that next bridge in the background and I think that's going to look pretty cool. So this bridge is actually called the Fairies Hill Viaduct and I've got to be totally honest I spent the first 30 years of my life living in this area and I've never heard of this place <laughs> let alone seen it. Oh the things honestly push bike and a bit of drive that's all you need to discover incredible places hidden gems like this. Coming from a bloke who lives in a van, I could do this. Look at that. I could live down there. I could actually live on a badge. I'm sure I could. Or could I, actually, because to be fair, you're not going to move far, are you? I mean, this part of the river is pretty clagged up. You're not going to get through there in a hurry. So, uh, could I live there? I don't know. But I tell you what, I'd sooner live there than in a house, a proper traditional house. Nice and all, but I like an alternative lifestyle, me. That'd do, that'd do. that would see my days out that, I reckon. Not sure what this way bridge is, but it's pretty cool. Iron bridge over the canal. Canal boats up and down. 
What a lovely little place. Oh, see if we can get through here. Ooh. This is bridge number five, King's Road. And I reckon I can make a photograph out of that. Pretty sure I can, using that fence post there, try and balance it. But you see the tree under the bridge? We need to get some separation like that. And then there's one over on the far side as well. We need some separation. And we also need to get some separation on the handrail there. This could be a tricky shot, but I think it'll work. The sky behind the trees, it blends in too much with the foliage, so you kind of lose the definition of the foliage. That had been a clear blue sky, the sky would have stood out really dark. As it stands, it's okay, but it's not a winner in my book. Just a little bit further down the pathway there, looking back towards the expanse of the bridge, I think that works really well. Again, the leading lines of the pathway, the river and the foliage there, I'm pretty pleased with that photograph. So again, we're back on the King's Road Bridge. I'm not entirely sure where this is. I think it's Altoffs. That's the view down there, back along the river or rather back along the canal and from the other side looking down the direction that I'm aiming you see all the barges along the river there because young people living in them why not worst places to be that's for sure and here we have Birkwood bridge mooring and lock how many knuckles that what a tremendous place so I'm just going to wait until we get a little bit of sunlight coming out. So I think we'll get a, we might get a slither. Uh, then again, we might not. This is probably as good as it's going to get, uh, which is a shame because I mean, in infrared, we really do need some burning hot sunshine. When life gives you lemons, you make something out of lemons. Let's do it. We're just coming up to Stanley Ferry. Let's see what we see here. Ooh, ooh. Freaky, freaky. Ooh, freaky. That's all right, that's all right. I've got my freak on there for a minute. Looking straight through, straight down into the river. Stanley Ferry pub there. Looks pretty cool for a pint. I don't know if I can get over the river though. Can I? Can I get over the river? Oh, I ain't got no money on me. I've left me fucking wallet at home, and I like a dick. But how cool is this? This is all right, isn't it? Hey fellas, how you doing? Yeah, I might. Yeah, it's a good little spot, this chief. I can get over the river. Look, there's a little bridge over there, <laughs> but I can't pay for my beer, so uh, that's uh, buggered that idea. Check this one out. Well, Christ knows how many miles away from New Zealand, and there you go, Timaru, Aotearoa. Now this is bridge seven, no it's not, it's bridge three, Broad Reach. How awesome is that? Beautiful little bridge and a lock, lock gates here look as well. You've got everything here. I mean how good's this man? Hey buddy, how you doing? There's a lot fishing down there so I don't want to, don't want to disturb his fishing. So we're going to get a photograph from maybe where my bike is there, looking back to the bridge. And we've got a nice little sweeping leading line there, a bit of an S-curve going on. I don't know if that'll come out though. The only thing I'm slightly disappointed about is that pile on there. And as if by magic, you see that little weed tree growing out of the canal wall? That is just adding a little bit of foreground interest. It looks, it looks actually crap on the GoPro. But I assure you, in infrared, that stands out pure white against the dark water. And it really does set this photograph off, in my humble opinion. Sun's out. One thing I really forgot about England, stinging nettles. I've just gone through a big patch of frigging vegetation, obviously covered in stinging nettles and shit, man. Ha! Shorts, stinging nettles, not a great combination at all. Loving this ride. Good old English Yorkshire woodlands. Absolutely stunning. Apart from the stinging nettles, of course. More there, twat. Ah, evil. I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Shit, I'll follow you a lot, you've got the beer. Ready now. Hell time. See you, mate. So, not sure entirely how, 
but I ended up taking the wrong turn in and uh, found myself in Wakefield city centre which to be fair is is okay but it's nothing to write home about no real picture sort of uh, opportunities unlike this look at this I'm back on the track on the way back now and we've got a badge coming down the river the light is absolutely abysmal but we're gonna make a shot anyway I forgot to video this segment, it's come out my favourite photograph of the shoot. I shot it earlier on in the day, but the light wasn't as good. On this occasion, it just it just pops. Everything just works a treat. Really pleased with this photograph. Quite possibly my favourite of the shoot, although there are a few more coming up that, uh, that really do run this one close. But yeah, very happy with that shot. The sun is obviously lower in the sky. It's around about maybe 8 p.m. now, I'm guessing. So uh, we're well, on the last couple of hours of daylight. Just see if the light has changed on this bridge, see if it offers anything different. I don't think it's going to do, but you know, nothing ventured and all that stuff. Just see the viaduct there, popping out of the bushes. Pretty cool. Whoa, hey. I do like this bridge, I really do like this bridge. Right about here, I think. Let's give that a go, let's give that a go. Now, I'm not sure if I shot from here earlier, but look at that. That is a lovely, lovely view. Infrared it stands out so well. See this, this white flower stuff here? From memory, I'm sure my mum used to call it mother dye, something like that. I don't know if it's a little bit toxic or what, I don't know. See where the shadow is of the bridge in the water? We've got a few little white mother dye planty things there, and they're just, uh, just looking quite nice in infrared. Oh, train going over. And this shot of the Ferris Hill Viaduct is just, it just worked out an absolute treat. The viaduct stands out really strongly. The white lilies on the river, they just stand out really well. Like I said, the separation around the, the mother dye plants, whatever they're called, I think that's just worked out really well. I love how inky black the water looks. It's a toss up between this one and the previous photograph for my favorites of the day. Uh, but this one, I really do like. So I'm now about two miles away from my sister's place, which is where I'm staying at the moment. Stevenson's Bridge. Looking pretty funky with a bit of light. Whew. It's got to be worth a shot, surely. So that last shot down there, Stevenson's Bridge, wasn't much to be fair. But I'll take it anyway, why not? The light was good. This is this is actually quite nice light now. We're just coming up to the uh, the Potteries area of Castleford, my hometown. I used to live down here, the Potteries, uh, in them old houses down there. This is a new estate. This used to be a uh, chemical factory. Uh, it was called Laporte's originally. My dad, my dad worked there when he was a younger fella. And then it became, oh, dropped me bottle. Then it changed its name to Lamson's. These big houses overlooking the River Calder. That's where my sister lives with her chap. Uh, thanks for the bike, Dan. Appreciate it. So I'm just gonna try and get a photograph of my sister's house. With some nice sunlight on it. In infrared, of course. So that's my sister's place. The Amityville House, beautiful. And I think we'll call that a wrap for this wee video, which has probably turned into quite a long video actually, because uh, I've got a lot more ground covered than I thought I was gonna do, and actually, than I intended to do, because uh, like I say, I got a bit lost. In my humble opinion, I made some cracking infrared photographs there. Uh, even though the light wasn't great, I still managed to get a few nice uh, graphic looking photographs, I think. Thanks so much as always for watching and supporting my wee channel and my stupid efforts.